Hi everybody, this is Julia. Welcome to the Stitcher Girl podcast. I hope everybody's doing well out there. I hope everybody continues to keep safe, to wear a mask when you're out in public, and uh, that your families are well. I'm well, I'm happy, my fa- I'm happy, well. <laughs> I'm healthy, I think, is what I I wanted to say. I'm healthy as far as I know, happy. Mm. Um, My parents are well, and uh, work is good. um, We've had a bit of an outbreak again of COVID here in New Brunswick. It's in the northern part of the province. So... um, Everybody's going to be on tender hooks, I think, for the next couple of weeks to see how bad it's going to get. But that's that. I have to make a huge, like, I wish I could do, like, fireworks or something. Maybe I can figure that out later. But I just feel like celebrating. I had this influx of new subscribers, and this is so exciting. So welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Stitcher Girl podcast. Uh, it's so great to have new subscribers. Um, if you if you like, I always like to know where people are coming from. So if you don't mind taking a moment, maybe just um, leaving me a message and letting me know where you're from. It's always nice to know uh, where my subscribers are watching from and how they heard about me. I'm guessing they might have heard about me from Kim of Barbara's Daughter. Um, That's a great new floss tube I've been watching. She's in New Jersey and I enjoy a lot of her projects and she seems to enjoy my projects. And in her most recent one, she was talking about quilting. So that's kind of got me a little hyped or hepped up about quilting again. So maybe I'll pull out my applique and show you that uh, next time. If I can find it. This is a floss tube channel. So it's, I would say 92% cross stitch, maybe 6% knitting. And what does that give us? 2% for other things. I think it might depend on the year. Like I said, I do quilt. I do rug hooking, uh, surface embroidery, crochet. I even tried spinning wool. Yeah, so I've got a few interests, and um, but right now my energies have been focused on cross stitch. So welcome, 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 welcome to the show. I am in Moncton, New Brunswick, which is in the eastern part of Canada, the part called the Maritimes, so not far from the ocean. And if you want to experience all four seasons, spend 24 hours in the Maritimes. I tell you, it can snow, rain, a heat wave. It can all happen within the span of 24 hours. Just a month ago, we were still getting snow. Last week, we had a heat wave, and now it's cool again. The cats are fine. Wellington there is checking out the library as he does. And Cherub's over there having a nap at the moment. She's not impressed with things, I guess. But they're well. And um, they keep me on my toes. So, it's so good to see you all. Thank you for stopping by. I will put in the... um, Down below, I'll put down my contact information, my email address, and where you can find me on Instagram. I'm always open to uh, comments and questions, so please feel free to send them my way. Okay, Beth Twist of Heartstring Samplery. She came out with a PDF, and it's called We Are the Same. And this design was created... I guess out of a need for for Beth, Beth felt she needed to, um, I don't know if react is the right word, but it has to do with 
the demonstrations that have been going on in the U.S. Um, I'm just going to read actually what she wrote because it's going to make more sense. But if you go to her Instagram, you can see it. You probably know about it better than I do. I just saw it. And um, I need to go into my pictures. And I'm going to, I'll put a picture here of the design. You can see it. It says, um, it's called We Are the Same. Uh, we live, dream, breathe, love, explore, grow old. We are humans. All life is precious. Everyone matters. Our origins are the same. We are the same. So she created this design. It's a PDF. And it was her way of, of doing something. Um, out, of a, out of a result of, of what's been going on down in the U.S. right now. So I hope. It's a very hard time. It's a very hard time. It's a very difficult time. And um, Beth is such a generous soul. And so this is lovely that she put something like this together. And this is something that I really do want to stitch. Um, it really speaks to me. And I'm sure it speaks to a lot of you. We are all the same. And um, it's a great message. And... Um, I invite you to check that out. So, I do have haul. I did get my order from x Designs. Her fabric did come in the mail. So that's very exciting. So I'm going to show that to you. And I have um, just a mini mania re uh, recap. Some whips. And also... Um, my plan for moving forward with all my whips now that I have all these new starts after mania um, I think I'm going to use a decisions app and just spin that wheel and see what comes up and then just use that as a guideline um, to work to work on all my projects um, right so it's June the 1st this is my birthday month. My birthday's at the end of the month. And I thought about doing some kind of giveaway. It'll probably be a PDF giveaway right now, considering the mail situation. Um, I thought that would be a good, a good way to do things. Um, I would buy the PDF and send it to you. So that'll be a giveaway, and that'll be coming up in a future in a future floss tube so stitch mania 2020 recap you can go back to my I did um, I have two stitch mania uh, floss tubes for this year plus I also had stitch mania plan floss tube that you can go back and watch too if you want more uh, specific detail if not, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get that info to you. I did have three finishes, so that was like a positive highlight for me. I finished, um, this was um, Stitchy Noel. This is a design by Patty Brake of four Newfoundland boys. No, four boys and a Newfoundland girl. That was fun. This was the Aussie Friends design. Um, Allie Dudley was a designer of Sassy Jacks. I finished that. And Yoda from Good Morning Maui. Is that not the cutest Yoda ever? Can you see him? Look at him. Look at him. Oh my God. He just makes me so happy. Good morning, Maui. The last time, um, was it yesterday or a couple of days ago, they were having a sale on their PDF. So you might want to check them out. I'll put that down below. So those are the highlights. Then I had a whole bunch of new starts. 
I'm not going to go through all of them because it's going to be a crazy long video. But needless to say, I got to about the halfway point of the month and I just kind of said, I'm done with this. I'm done with this because I was having all this anxiety. Like, God, ridiculous, right? But I was missing working on some of my other new starts that I had earlier in the month. And so I'd put them away and then I'm like, and then I even had these free days in the month where I could work on whatever I wanted to. And, and then there were days work was crazy. I didn't feel like stitching at all. And then I felt bad because I wasn't stitching and I wasn't staying on my plan. I had this plan and anyways, it was a bit much. So... Thank you to all of you out there who did comment on my last hot mess of a floss tube and um, said, Julia, like, what the hell? Like, girl, do what you want to do. Like, seriously. So for the last week, I've just been doing what I wanted to do. And I felt much happier about it. Um, I have all kinds of projects now to choose from. So um, it's great. And yet I still want to start new things. This is some kind of disease, I think. But it's um, it's not a bad one, is it? I don't think so. I think it's I think it's okay. I think it's a good thing. I blame floss tube. I blame there are some stitchers out there that are ridiculous enablers. I won't call you out here on my floss tube, but you know you are. So, um, so let's go through some of the things I've worked on in the past week. So I'm doing this. It's called uh, a Mystery Quaker Sal. The theme is Scotland, and it's done through Tempting Tangles. Deborah Dick, I believe, is her name, and. I'm a little behind in this, but I've been trying to do a little bit every now and again, just to kind of keep keep on it, not get too far behind. This is done on um, Lugana Fog. So you can see the Scottish flag. Um, this is as, as far as it comes, this motif here. And then we're now, um, I don't have part six on here yet. The crowns here at the bottom. That's part five. And yeah, I need to get back to this and do a little bit. Um, there's six parts released so far. You can still join. There is a fee. I forget how much it was. And... There are 16 parts, I believe, and it goes until um, October. And then um, it will be um, a pattern you can purchase later on when it's released. So that's fun. That is on, um, I believe it's 28 Fog Lugana. Now, at the Met, at the Met, I talked about this last time. I, I did it, I started it on a fabric similar to that color, this milk chocolatey color. And um, I was having problems with the coverage in the black. It was a 28 count. I have now moved up to a 32 count. And I'm using a picture this plus. What color? What color? Nocturne. And it is a linen. And so far, so good. I'm enjoying it. This is the chart that I affectionately refer to as Mary Crawley. Because if you look at her, can't you see her sashaying around in Downton Abbey in a dress like that? Oh, hello, Matthew. Can't you see that? Anyway, so... Um, sometimes I call her Mary Crowley, not at the Met. So 
So this is very exciting. I am enjoying this fabric better. I think the coverage, I've decided to start at the top this time and work my way down. And sorry, I don't, I don't iron. I don't know how well you can see everything right now, but see, I came down and I started on one of these tassel thingies. But I think I'm going to be, yeah, I'm already much happier with this. So this is some kind of an awning thing that she's standing under. So that's my focus right now to get that done. And then once I come down the other side and get that, then I can come in here, come down here, and I can start working on her hand. Because, you know, um, well, you don't have to, but a lot of people do the skin one over one. So, I mean, it's Merrick Crawley. you got to do the skin one over one, right? I mean, come on. So I worked a bit on her. Then I also have been working on Mary Clayton. Mary Clayton, of course, is Hands Across the Sea. If you've never done one of these charts, this is a great beginner one. It's it's all it's all cross stitch. Oh. Um, yeah, what, what I meant is there's no like specialty stitches, statin, uh, statin, statin, statin is a drug. Um, <laughs> no satin stitches. I'm a licensed practical nurse. Statins. Um, so this is a great beginner chart. If you've never worked with one of these, um, designs, uh, Nicola does a great job with these colored charts and then a nice uh, color key in the back. Um, DMC, uh, Soie d'Alger, and the NPI silks. Uh, because I'm Julia, I did a gentle arts conversion. So let's have a look-see and see where she's at. She's coming along. <gasps> I was hoping for a finish at the end of March, but then I, April, May, oh my God, what month are we? What year is this? I was, I was hoping for a finish, but then I just said, no, you don't stress yourself. Enjoy, enjoy your stitching, darling. So that's what I'm doing. I'm enjoying the stitching. But I did get, here, let's see. This is a 32 count r, r fabric. It's a discontinued colorway, I think. But, um, yeah, still got some work to do on that house. That house, I'm telling you. But still, it's looking really good and it's coming along. And I'm happy. So that's important, right? So that's good. And then, see, I've got them all like this on a ring. A la Nicole. Yeah, very nice colors. And then we have another Hands Across the Sea sampler. This is a little gem. I'm using the DMC colors for this one. This is on antique white, and this is not some th color I usually work on because I'm scared the antique white will be black by the time I finish the project. Um, but I did get some more done. So exciting. This is the one that has a, the honeysuckle border that I'm just kind of besotted with. But I've come down the middle here and because I wanted to get in my blue. Because I didn't like the DMC blue. I wanted something a little brighter. 
and I think I'm using DMC 519 instead of the 927. You know, it's serious when you know the colors by heart. <laughs> oh my God, too funny, Julia. Um, let's see. Yeah. And these are pretty like coral pinks here. Yeah, it is 519. So to me, that looks more like the photo. And I will insert a photo here somewhere so you know what I'm talking about. This is one of the little gems that is only available as a PDF download on Hands Across the Sea website. So those are the ones that I've worked on in the past week. It may not look like much, but a little bit here, a little bit there. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, Eliza Poole. One can never forget Eliza Poole. Eliza Poole. Now this one is, as Stephanie would say, banana pants because I'm doing this one over one, yes, one over one on 28 count. That's right, 28 count. This is a picture this plus ale, a gorgeous color. And the design is Eliza Poole. Where is she? Talk to me, Eliza. Eliza, Eliza Pool. Perfection. Eliza Pool. So I'm doing it one over one. And this is where I am. I've been filling in the house. Now I did the outline of the roof and the house and I did the grass underneath. So now that I've kind of got this done, I'm going to like, you know, work on the border and then come in and do some of the house and this. And now this kind of sets me up to come across here where this, this, this like, um, there's flowers there on the other side of the house. Here. So I'm here so I can start coming across. Because this is a fat quarter of fabric and there's no way, like, it's awkward to work on a piece of fabric this big. So I want to get across the borders here somehow so then I can cut it. So that was exciting. I'm using a lot of the called fours. Um, picnic basket, old blue paint. I'm not doing the parchment. For the house because it didn't show up well on this so I'm using a 712 DMC um, espresso bean tin bucket I just got some tin bucket but I'm using soot for the roof heirloom gold country redwood endive wood rose I'm not using I'm using something else this is a very organized bag. Antique Rose instead. Because I didn't like the Wood Rose color. It was too, um, it was a peachy color. And I want a pink dress for my girl. And lamb's wool, I guess, is for the skin. So that's Eliza Poole. Very exciting. One over one. Crazy Stitcher Girl. That's me. Okay, now I've got all these projects that I started with Mania, and I love them all. And I'm not about to put, I know some people, they put things to bed after Mania, and they'll like pull them out again at another time, but um, no, I want to keep working on them. So... There were some that I never got around to working on in the month of May. 
So I've added them to this Tiny Decisions app. And so all my new starts, my current whips, whips that I worked on in May, but whips that I started before May that I didn't get to in May, if that makes sense. Whips and new starts. They're all here. There might be some small, like some Halloween smalls and things, Christmas ornaments. They're not on here. I've got 15 things on here. So I thought what would be fun today would start of a new month. I'm going to spin this wheel and you're going to see what I'm going to be working on for the next week. And I'm going to pick two projects. So are you ready? Jane Marshall. Oh my God. Okay. Jane Marshall. So we have to look at Jane Marshall. Now Jane Marshall is, as I'm sure you know, yeah, organized chaos. Here we go. Jane Marshall, I'll put in another, I'll put in a picture. This was a release by Hands Across the Sea that came out, um, it was like a benefit fundraiser for the bushfires in Australia. Here, I've got these on the floor, it's topic. Fancy. So I started this during Mania, that's where I got. And then, here we go. So, pinks and blues and greens. Now they're supposed to be like a yellow and a brown and a gray. I'm not doing them because I don't like them on this color of fabric. This is Sand by Spygart. It is 40 count because hashtag 40 count diva. Thank you. And um, yeah, so I'm just modifying the color palette a little bit. That's what I do sometimes. If there is a very, um, if a color is not used very much in a piece, then um, I just might use another color, especially if it's over dyed floss. Um, you know, I hate that when it call when when there's an over dyed floss and you need it for like 10 stitches. I'm just going to use DMC in a case like that. Yeah. So I'm just going to make some substitutions and change things around a little bit, but that's what makes it my piece. So yeah, so Jane Marshall. Okay, cool. 40 count. Very exciting. Okay, cool. Now we're going to reset the wheel. And I've obviously not done this correctly because Jane Marshall is still indicated, but that's okay. I'll get this figured out. Oh, you know what I can do? Because I have a couple of university degrees, I think I can figure this out quite quickly. I removed it. All right, so let's spin that wheel again now and see what comes up. Ooh, we need music. <gasps> and a four screw. I caramba, guys, another 40 count diva. <sighs> and a four screw. Okay, this is excellent because I didn't touch this piece at all in May. I thought about it a couple of times, but let me just show you. I've got like two bags of floss here. I've got a bag of floss that I haven't put that I haven't put on rings yet. And then I've got a bag full that is on thread keeps, floss rings, whatever you call it. Look at them. So this is maybe 
half. Yeah, there's over 100 DMC colors in this. And a forest group. Karen Gubla is a designer at Rosewood Manor. Now, talk to me. Talk to me. This is on 40 count platinum, the Spygart. And I started it on Earth Day. I thought that was a good day to start this pattern. Now again, it's it'll fit on a fat quarter of 40 count. That's why I'm doing it on 40 count. And I will be changing out the seams. I maybe should show you the pattern, eh? Because It's okay. It's coming. It's coming. I'm organized. See what I mean? It is. Four hundred and twenty by two hundred stitches. It was done on thirty two count linen. And see, there's some other cute little ideas in the back. And there are also, um, what she did is she pulled from, from the design to create a couple of smaller samplers. So those ideas are all in the booklet too. So it's fabulous. But I'm switching this out. This is, you know, I don't mind the odd biblical verse, but not, the, I don't want this one. And this one, not doing that. I'm putting an Emily Carr verse there instead. Um, yeah, so let's have a look-see. So this basically, every time you do a tree, it's a new color. Um, different animals, foxes, bunnies, owls, crows, and, um, uh, Wellington and Cherub will be added to this pattern. It, there's um, some of the motifs do repeat and um, bunnies. Bunnies do re repeat throughout this design and um, down here around the tree. I think I'm going to put change it to Cherub and Wellington. They're going to be down here, but there's more bunnies and it's a phenomenal pattern. I think when I came back to cross stitch last year, Amy Loves Toads had just finished this and I was like, I want. So I got it. So this is so two 40 count pieces. Holy Hannah, as my mother would say. Well, that's going to make for some interesting stitch in this week. Woohoo! That's great. And so, I haven't worked on Jane Marshall in a couple of weeks, and I haven't worked on Anna Forest Grew in a month. So, that is awesome. Awesome. That is great. So, I'm going to remove and a forest screw right away since I know how to do that. <sighs> cool beans. So that was fun. Wasn't that fun? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And what else did I have to say? Oh, I know what else I had to say. Cause I'm getting near the end. Um, hall. I wanted to talk about my hall. I made all these notes. Hall. Yes. So last time I couldn't find something that I got. I might have moved them already because I don't see them. Um, somebody asked me what needles I use. I keep trying the different brands out there and I just recently got a pack of Bowen needles to try. These are 26s. I did, I was using Peacemakers, and I don't know if it was that particular pack, but 
sometimes I found if I pushed down on them, they would stab me in my finger. And the, the point on them, I found them sharp. And I don't know if that was a defect. I'd been using them for too long. But these Bowens, they have a nice smooth round tip. So the other day at my LNS, because you count here in Moncton, I picked up a couple of threads. I got bubble gum. I got two skeins of piney woods because I'm building a stash here for some blackbird designs. The summer, autumn, and winter designs that were just re-released. And then I got blackboard because that's a good color to have. And also at Because You Count, um, they always have remnant pieces at the front of the cache. So I got a piece of, um, this is actually fog, but it's linen. So it looks different from the Lugana that I'm working on. I don't know if you can see that, it's the, there's more modeling and stuff. That'll be cool for like a small. And then this is, I don't know what that, no. I gravitate towards the the hand dyed fabrics that are in the bin. This is like a mauvey colored, light pinky. Maybe it is meditation by Picture This Plus, I'm not sure. And then this is just a gray, but there's color to it. I have no idea what this is. But you can kind of see how there's some the over dyeing there. It's kind of like light green, plummy, pinky. Those are for smalls. And then they were doing some kind of a bookmark challenge at the store. And so they had all these like skinny pieces. And this is a piece of murky. And um, this was just like a freebie. Um, and but it's murky and I've never had any murky before. And this is a linen, so if it was a Lugana, it would not be this is intense. That's a picture of this plus. And that's just a regular, I don't know what that is, mushroom. I don't know what that is, but they're just pieces to have fun with. Then, oh, the flosses I couldn't find last time that I got from Shelly. Shelly has creative quarters in BC. And I had ordered these colors because they're all in those Blackbird charts, the summer, autumn, and winter. The uh, Mana Red Maple Syrup or Maple Sugar. This is... Um, Oh, Cinders is not in it, but I was just completely infatuated with this color. And it looks black on here, but uh, Manor Red. Oh, Wild Berries. But this one is... Yeah, it looks black on here. But it's like um, a plummy... Burgundy eggplant with highlights of like like a cherry cranberry plummy variegation. It screams Julia. So I'm so glad I got it because I thought cinders was like um, cinders. Cinders as in Cinders in the, like I thought it was like going to be a gray, blacky color. Cinders. Yeah. 
Anyways, yes, so I'm building my stash to start that those blackbird charts the summer, autumn, and fall. And, oh, because you count in Moncton um, for the month of June, they're having 20% uh, off on Canadian charts. So examples would be Jeanette Douglas, um, Victoria Sampler, Northern Pine Designs I saw. I think she does a lot of canvas work. But this is snippets that came out a couple of years ago to celebrate Canada's 150th anniversary. And I really like this one here that has the uh, eight, um, 1867. This one is cute too. It's got an anook shook and then that's kind of like, um, that's the bar jello stitch and it's to make it look like the Northern Lights. This was a sampler. I guess it was some kind of a mystery sampler that Jeanette did. Anyways, um, if, you, if you're looking for some Jeanette Douglas, Victoria Sampler, check out because you count. Now, X Jude Fabric. I need a drink. This is very exciting. Oh my God. So she also dyes thread. And I got a couple of colors of red, of course, because you need red threads in your life, right? Like red samplers. So one is called, um, this one is called Shabby Red. So this one is very much a muted. Yeah, that's good. And then this one is called Marishka's Red. And this one goes from like a cranberry red to a bright cherry red. This this uh, shabby red makes me think of um, Country Redwood by um, Gentle House. Gentle House. Gentle Arts. Okay. So those were in there. She sent me a freebie of her silk. Because she dyes silk as well. That was exciting. So the fabric came like this. There's one fat quarter piece in there and the other two pieces are um, 16 by 13 inches. So that's a really nice size for 40 count linen. Um, it's a Spygart base. And this one is called Rustic Driftwood. Now, if you've ever been on her Etsy shop, to her Etsy shop, she will list a DMC color equivalency to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. I don't have those right now, but this is driftwood. I think I might use this piece of fabric for that best twist. We are the same. Um, it's like a gray brown color. Would that be like a DMC 612, folks? I don't know. Anyways. And it smells divine. Just divine. So if you are somebody, though, that has a sensitivity to smells, to scents, you, you might want to... Um, I don't know if that's anything she if there's anything she can do for you, but I would mention it to her because it might be a strong smell for some people. Now, that was I'm losing all my tags because I'm all excited. That was driftwood. Now this one is called rustic drab. This is another 16 by 13 piece. This one has a yellowing cast. This one makes me think of you know those linens that have been around forever, forever and a day that um, that have a yellowish hue to them because they haven't been washed in so long? Like, you know how white does that? Like white linens, pillowcases, or 
just like people with their white hair sometimes how it goes yellow on them <laughs> um, same concept anyways it's um i think it's it's a little more brighter it's definitely much more yellow than i was expecting but it's a really pretty piece And yeah, there, see how it's different than down here. But that will be great for smalls. And then this one is called Old Sheep. I've gone and taken all the tags off of them now, and that's going to be a problem at some point. This one is Old Sheep, and I think a lot of people have been using this one. This is the Fat Quarter 19 by 27. To me, this one, I'm wondering, is this like Weeks Straw? Not as yellow. This is more like an aged golden yellow. So I'm wondering, is it like a straw, the straw Weeks? Yeah. I have never held a piece of straw. And the reason why I'm going on about weak straw is because the Newcastle Bouquet by Teresa Kogit calls for that um, fabric. And I'm thinking maybe this, maybe this um, old sheep will work. So, I'm very excited. Very exciting. So that was cool. Now you might be wondering, now Julia, how long did that take to come? Well, I ordered it around the end of April and it was doing well. It was, it was traveling along at a good pace and then it hit Toronto. I think all the international mail from Europe goes through Toronto first. And so that, um, That resulted in delays there. Um, one, because of the volume right now Canada Post is dealing with. And also, um, you know, if there is um, an outbreak of COVID in a facility, they got to shut it down to sanitize it. And so there's, it takes longer. It was in Toronto for over a week, maybe a week and a half before I got it. Um, so it maybe took three weeks, maybe a little longer. And if we were not in a COVID reality, it probably would have taken maybe two and a half weeks to come, which is not bad. It did have a tracking number too, so I always knew where it was. So that was good. Um, for Canadians, if you purchase $50 American on Xtrude site, then she doesn't charge you any shipping. So we all know the, the difference between the U.S. and American dollar right now. It's about $1.30, $32, $35. So you save on shipping if you buy $50 worth with her. Kitten Stitcher in the U.S. has an incredible selection of x Jude's fabrics, and she even has some exclusive colorways. Um, however, if you do buy from Kitchen, St Kitchen Stitcher, have I, I've done that. This is going to be another drinking game, Kitchen Stitcher, Kitten Stitcher. So if you did buy from Kitten Stitcher, you would be paying postage, right? Um, but unfortunately, Kitten Stitcher is not shipping right now internationally because of the whole COVID situation. Um so that's just something to keep in mind if you want to try out some x -Jude. It might make more sense right now because Kit and Stitcher is not shipping internationally and because there's you can save on a shipping charge um, if you order from her directly. So that's my pro tip. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you will take a moment to like and subscribe, uh, share with your friends, leave me a comment, ask a question, or, or don't. It's okay. I won't get offended. <laughs>
not right away. Anyways, it's been fun spending time with you. Um, I wish you well. Keep safe. Go check out that uh, PDF. We are the same by Beth Twist. Um, I might just start stitching on that today. So we'll see you again maybe in a week. And then I will show you all my progress on those two 40 count whips. So exciting. All right then. Take care, friends. Hugs and kisses. Bye.